Hello everybody, this is Kianda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In this video, I have Sonoff Zigbee Smart Switch ZB Mini. I will have a look at it, set it up to see how it works. The maximum ampere this device can tolerate is 10, which is good enough. This device is designed with Zigbee 3.0 protocol with better security, flexibility, and the ability to deploy to multiple regions. Also, Zigbee 3.0 certification scheme ensures the interoperability of different products from different manufacturers. Zigbee Mini can be used as a Zigbee router to transfer signals among devices. Also, this device can be controlled by your voice using, for instance, Alexa. All in all, Zigbee 3.0 protocol features are low power, reliable and robust, scalable, secure, and global standard. I myself wasn't a fan of Zigbee before, but by advent of Zigbee 3.0, I got interested in it because of its new features and improvements. Using Zigbee devices, we need a hub. In this video, I use Sonoff Zigbee Bridge to use Sonoff Zigbee Smart Switch. Let's start using the device. Before that, I thank Seper Monavar Group and Artman Company for supporting me to make this video. First of all, we must pair the Zigbee bridge with Evelink app. As I said at the beginning of the video, this device is designed with Zigbee 3.0 protocol. So we can pair this device with other hubs that are designed with this protocol. Some of them are Samsung SmartThings hub, Philips Hue bridge. Let's start with pairing Sonoff bridge. I take it out from its box. I connect power to it using USB cable. After powering on, the device will enter the quick pairing mode during the first use. The Wi-Fi LED indicator changes in a cycle of two short and one long flash. The device will exit the quick pairing mode if not paired within three minutes. If you want to enter the device into pairing mode, again, press this button and hold it for five seconds until the LED indicator, the Wi-Fi LED indicator changes in a cycle of two short and one long flash. Then release the button. Okay, while the Son of Bridge is in pairing mode, on Evelink app, I tap on plus, tap on quick pairing, select add one device. In this page, you should select the Wi-Fi or let's say the router, you want to connect the bridge to it and enter its credential. Then tap on next. Be patient till pairing is done. Device added successfully. By default, it has a name, ZB Bridge. You can change its name and set a room for it. Then tap on Done. Zigbee Bridge, Son of Zigbee Bridge is paired with Evelink app. Now we can pair sub devices to this hub. Let's start with unboxing the Son of Smart Switch, Zigbee Smart Switch. In the box, we have the device, product qualification, and quick manual. In order to pair this device, we have to connect the power to it. 
After powering on the device, it will enter the pairing mode during the first use and the LED signal indicator flashes. The device will exit the pairing mode if not paired for a long time. For entering it again to pairing mode, press and hold this button for 5 seconds until the LED signal indicator flashes and then release the button. Okay, while the device is in pairing mode, access Evelink app, select the bridge you want to add or let's say pair the device to it, tap on add, wait till pairing is done. While pairing the device, it's recommended to keep it as close as you can to the bridge. If the pairing failed, move the sub device closer to the bridge and try again. One device added, I tap on confirm. The device added to the Zigbee bridge. Using Evelink app, you can turn it on or turn it off. Also, in the main page of Evelink app, you have the device. Let's connect a load to it. I have connected a manual switch to the device and a light to it. Using Evelink app, I turn it on. Using the switch, I can set it to off. And we immediately have its feedback on Evelink app. I tap on the light. You can set a schedules to control the light. You can set timers to use this light. You can even link camera to this device if you have Son of IP camera. At the top right corner of the Evelink app, I tap on the camera icon, select the camera, then tap on save. Now that camera is linked with ZB Mini. I tap on three dots at the top right corner of the Evelink app. In this page, you can change the name of the device to whatever you want. Do not forget to tap on save. Assign location and see the log of the device. If you need to change the network, long press the pairing button for five seconds until the Zigbee LED signal indicator flashes and release. Then the device enters quick pairing mode and you can pair the device again. Also, you can delete the device or reset it to factory setting. By navigating to the page of the smart switch, either tapping on the light on the Evelink page or tapping on Zigbee bridge and select the sub device. Tap on three dots at the top right corner of the screen By selecting delete device, device will be removed or let's say will be unpaired from Zigbee bridge. Whatever type of junction box you use, you can install this device in it to smarten your wall switch. But it is recommended that while putting this device into junction box, this surface should be opposite of you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.